Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So Mary Lee, for this one, we're headed to the beautiful San uh, Sandy City and Sandy is blowing up right now, right? It's an awesome place to live since I live in that area and I love it. Yeah. And it's close to everything. It, the, Sandy has been blowing up. A lot of people want to live in that area right now. And so these houses come on and they get gathered up really, really quickly. You can see this one. Beautiful layout. Look at the front floor plan as you can kind of oh, see. Look at, you can see through. You can see the, right yeah. through on the right hand side. You can look all the way into the backyard. I love how much light. Yeah, so that creates a lot of light and they've it's got beautiful. this big beautiful tree in the backyard. And so when you're driving by, you can literally see this big tree in the backyard. It's a That's really unique cool. look. Really cool. And so on the right hand side, it's kind of open. You can look through. It's got lots of uh, lots of light in there. On the left hand side, as you walk in the front door, you go right into the kitchen, which is beautiful. Oh yeah, they've redone it. It yeah. looks really nice. Big, beautiful kitchen, as you can see here. And on the left hand side of that, they converted the garage space oh, into living space. Oh, nice. Which is unique. The particular buyer that owned the property thought that was a good idea. They wanted to have Opened more kind of, more kind of a rambler, big open space. Yeah. But we've kind of figured in this deal, if you want to convert that back into a garage we've got that all figured in so if you want to have a two-car garage it's a big two-car garage too perfect yeah right off to the left there you can imagine if you have your dining garage room. you've got your dining room yep. right on there and so this property we're gonna be looking at is 3,300 square feet with five bedrooms three full baths and the gentleman that finished it out spared no expense and he's a real craftsman and so everything he did is really clean yeah he did a great job yeah, love really the sink beautiful work everywhere you went and everything is new you'll notice all the trims all the carpet wow. sometimes when they go in and fix these older properties up they don't really do all the details this one they didn't miss anything yeah he did a great job you can tell yeah lots of bedrooms uh lots of baths in the in the it's kind of interesting that that elf l kind of layout of the floor plan you see these a lot in like uh in in california arizona yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. stuff like this and it's very very unique you know i haven't really seen many of these in utah at all so this particular floor plan is really unique to here but it creates for an interesting backyard and the way oh, you can look back yeah. into there so if i owned this house what i would do is I would I would fix up that backyard and light up that tree and then Make deck up the backyard. Do you living, know what I mean? Yes. And it would remind me of something that we'd be looking at if we were out in Malibu. You know what I mean? That's this is just what they do. They fix up properties like this yep. in Malibu and make them amazing. Beautiful property. And Sandy's always so yes. popular. It's great. Mary Lee, for this one, we're headed out to Holiday. And what's, what's a better location in Salt Lake? Holiday. Holiday Everybody is wonderful, wants right? To be Cottonwood there. High. Yep. This is the spot. Yep, it's hard to find anything there. And so we run across this beautiful property that they just did this um, amazing remodel on. It's great. Yeah, isn't it great? Yeah. It's got a ton of land, too. Not only the house in is. Holiday? On, on over, it's almost half an acre. You don't 0. Find 0. 0.40 acres. Wow. All fully remodeled. And so this house is 44, 36 square feet with six bedrooms, three and one three quarter bath. Look at it's all been completely redone as we go into the inside. Oh, Isn't this yes, beautiful? Yes, absolutely. Very the nice. Floor, love the floor color. Yeah. They really nice light. You'll notice yep, as you're walking windows. through the house, lots of big windows. Take a look at the kitchen. Oh, that is beautiful i love that isn't that great yes so you're getting the best of both worlds here and entertaining and this, where you can see both yes that's, that's right helpful. it's got a little look through they did a lot of additions onto this house and brought a lot of light and notice there's got some natural light that comes in uh through uh the sun uh sunlights on the on the ceiling and going in it looks through and look at oh, this yeah, massive space that's beautiful they did a great job yeah so you go right out through those doors out onto your deck through that door on the back side that's where your hot tub is oh, which is nice. enclosed inside and there you got your nice family room like you said all those windows 
lots Lock of and windows and it's looking out. What's really nice is there's a park. There's a huge park right behind here. So you don't have backyard neighbors. That's the park. Oh, how nice. That is great. Yeah. Beautiful little property. This one is actually a pretty good value for the area oh, and the remodel. A hot tub. There's a hot yes. tub, but it's all built in. Oh, Notice it's inside. It's inside. So it's, for winter, that's so nice. That's right. You don't have to yes. go outside. You don't have to freeze. Masters on the main floor on this one. We're going to go look at that in just a Perfect. second. There's a little half bath as you're going down the hall there on the left hand side. Oh, they did a great job. This is going into the master. There's actually a couple bedrooms on the main floor. This is the master right here. Again, and more windows. Yes. yes. Uh, lots of nice windows, as you can see. Nice little space, too. Take a look here. Now we're going to go take a look at this uh, master bath. Very wow. Nice. Cute. Oh, and look, a sliding glass door out. That's awesome. Right out on yes. your, uh, right onto your deck, right there. Now they haven't put the glass in there. They're gonna add some glass in for the for, for the, the shower. Yeah, for yes. the shower. And big, oh, huge. Oh yeah, look at that walk-in. Very nice. Your double mm -hmm. ovens, and then we're gonna go down and take a look at the lower area because as you're going down the steps there, there's a little room right there, and that's where your washer and dryer is. Oh, okay. There's a big, this house has a four-car garage on it. Four-car? Four-car. In holiday? In holiday. Wow, that's amazing. So sure. down into the lower level, this has all been redone, as you see on the inside. Really yeah. nice, light they colors. Some old rock, I love that. Yeah, they bring in that back mm -hmm. just a little bit, which is just perfect. Love it. Tons of room. I mean, you're talking six bedrooms. Yeah, they did a great job on the remodel, for sure. This colors. is looking out at the backyard, as you can see right here. The park, like I said, is just right behind here. So they have nobody behind them. Yeah, nobody behind you. It's just the park. That's amazing. This is your side yard right here. You got a big, huge side yard. As you can see, these big mature trees, which aren't filled out right now, because we're gonna, kind of the shots right in the middle of winter. But take a look at the good little property. That, it's great. Someone will love that, holiday. especially holiday. You cannot yeah, go wrong. You can't. Look at wait until that. that fills in. That's your park. The look at oh, as yeah. we're flying out the back here. Notice how we're going out and we're going out. That's where the stream goes right through there. I bet that is so beautiful. In yeah, the summertime. that water running through there, and there you can see the kids playing there on the oh, left yes. in the park and. Talk about all those trees. Oh, yeah. That's a special little home. That's awesome. So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. Your home is one of your most valuable assets, so for the latest in Utah's real estate trends and market conditions, be sure to tune into Real Estate Essentials every Sunday afternoon at 4.30. Everyone needs a home, and at Real Estate Essentials, anyone who buys or sells their home with the J. Deere Real Estate Team will receive a free adoption for the pet of their choice. Real Estate Essentials has teamed up with the Humane Society of Utah to bring you forever homes for everyone. Love your new home and love your new rescue pet with the J. Deere Real Estate Team. Headed down to the Arches and Canyonlands National Park, let's see what's popular on Moab with Rachel Moody. Hi Jay, thanks for coming back down to Moab with me. I am taking you to one of the most spectacular properties that we have here in the Moab Valley. Truly one of Moab's finest properties. I am so excited about this one because this is right on the canyon edge. It literally looks out over the beautiful canyon. It truly does. This one is built into the red rock, which is quite unique and rare. Um, it's something that was uh, blasted a long time ago, and then a gentleman bought the property, built a beautiful home into the rock, and then these folks fell in love with the location and the structure and absolutely renovated it um, down to the bones and created this fine, fine product um, that we have today. It was completed in 2017, um, and what you have today is just a fine luxury home, living in Moab luxury. 
which is so made because you couldn't just go blasting out rock and build a house on it ever again. So this is no. kind of a one-off. This is it. This is, uh, yes, this is very, very unique, very rare. Not only is it built into the rock, it's built right on a cliff side and it overlooks Mill Creek Canyon. It is a vast canyon that is truly unbelievable and the, the vistas head straight up into the mountains um 360 degrees everywhere you look you're just in absolute awe yeah and it's amazing you want to talk about a standout property something that was built and will never be done again this is it i, I can't believe it it's absolutely stunning Yes, and as far as all the finish that they've put into it, you have your safe room, you also have additional storage, you have an office that has access to a patio, um, you have a guest apartment, you have this grand staircase that has been created from beautiful walnut, handcrafted artisans, have, built by local artisans um, by hand, just gorgeous finish um, up to this living area that has vast valley views off to the mountains and also built into the rock the rock features come out in almost every room you know a lot of people will try and do fake rock but this is the real stuff this is built this right is into it true sandstone and as you walk around the home you know you see how it's finished into the rock um, and it's very well built it's solid solid structure um you overlook over to the cliffs across the way that actually have ancient writing on the walls um there's endless hiking you're butt up to federal land so you have um just wilderness is right at your fingertips here and the nice thing about this no one will ever build out in front of you so this is yours i mean this is a timeless property that is correct, yes. It's on six and a half acres, and then it has protected acres across the way, which are part of um, the whole subdivision. And then you end up into federal land. So there's a lot of protection here. Yeah, so the, somebody took this house that was built and can never be built again, and then they went in and just completely decked it out. And just, uh, it's absolutely amazing. I just love it. Absolutely, it has five bedrooms. It has three full bathrooms, it also has a powder room. It has an oversized three-car garage with additional storage. Um, it has your chef's kitchen. Um, of course, and then look at these beds are built into the rock. Talk about uh, living and sleeping on the edge and on the sandstone and being in luxury at the same time as being um, into the, the vista, yeah, the environment. Which... I love it. You know what's what's so cool? This is one of the my favorite houses we've ever had on the show before because it, it, it speaks Utah. As you look at this house, you couldn't do this anywhere else in the world and have this. No, this is truly unique to the area. And uh, it's very difficult to find private properties like this because they've been captured by the federal government or by um, National Park. And this is truly National Park worthy, the way that this sits. Um, and then to also be able to um, enjoy your infinity hot tub as well as go and do yoga on your private pergola, um, the privacy, um, the acreage, the views. I mean, this is, this is stunning. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. And, you know, it's got what the cool thing about real estate is when you get into scarcity, because there's nothing else like this. There will be nothing else like this. This always makes the value go through the roof. And that's what they always talk okay. about. Always buy something that's completely unique. And this yes. is unbelievable. Unbelievable. There's very few products like this. Um, there may be a few others out there, maybe two or three that have canyon edge views like this. Um, but otherwise, you are looking at one of a kind. Yeah, and you can get that scarcity and you own this and now you've got a timeless property and boy, opportunity. This is, and it's very rare these come up for sale. So it, boy, yeah. somebody's going to really get, get a view on this one. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Hi Jay, here we are. We are at the Canyons Village here at Park City Mountain Resort. And as you can see, the beautiful views here of the resort right in the background. And this is Silverado Lodge, located right at the Canyons Village. Yeah, and there's a ton of development right there. You can see everything that's going on. There's tractors in the background. They are really developing this area, right? They are. Uh, the idea is they want to make it all walkable. They want to make it a true village. 
And so they are headed down that path and they are creating that. Absolutely. They're going to add shops, obviously retail, restaurants, additional parking. And, you know, like I said, it's all going to be walkable, which is going to be amazing. Yeah, which is going to be so fun. And, is there, and all that stuff is coming in there. And then you got this cool, really unique property. Tell me about this. So, yeah. So here we are. Like I said, Silverado Lodge. It's built in 2007. So you can tell uh, it shows very well. Uh, they didn't skimp on any of the materials they used. And so this is super unique because it's a one bedroom lock off with a full kitchen. So it's really versatile. You can stay in the side as an owner of the kitchen with a couch. Um, and then you can actually rent out the one bedroom because it's a lock off. So super efficient. Or you can rent it out as a whole. Or you could be living there as a full-time resident or just use it as a second home. So there's so many options with this unit. Yeah, which is so cool because flexibility in real estate is a really good thing, especially when you do it like a night route rental on it, on it, or half of it, stay in it, stay in it part-time. And then what the really nice thing is though, the amenities and everything around the location is developing. And so there's gonna be a lot of appreciation in this area in the next few years. Yeah, I believe so. And as you can tell, this unit has higher ceilings, which is really unique in this building. It's got the stainless steel appliances, granite countertops. It's got great light coming into the unit. And with that light comes great views. So you can see the golf course from this unit and then also Park City Valley. Yeah, take a look at all these nice amenities. Let's talk about those. So yeah, so just like a hotel, it's got a great fitness center. It's got a great steam room, sauna, and then a pool and hot tub. So everything you need, whether you're coming up for a weekend from Salt Lake City or you're coming from California or New York, it has everything you need right here in this location. Yeah, look at that nice hot tub, sauna, perfect. You get done skiing, you come down there, get to enjoy the, the resort. Very, very nice. No, absolutely. We're really excited about this just because it's so versatile and there's so many options. It's a great looking unit. Um, it's gonna be great for anybody. Yeah, good location, lots of development going in. That means appreciation and skiing never goes out of style. I love it. Your home is one of your most valuable assets. So for the latest in Utah's real estate trends and market conditions, be sure to tune into Real Estate Essentials every Sunday afternoon at 4.30. People aren't insurance experts. Shoot, most of the time they don't know what coverage they have or even who their agent is. It's okay. It's not your job to be an insurance nerd. It's mine. I even have the glasses and sweater vest. As your personal insurance nerd, my staff of nerds and I are excited and eager to get nerdy about your insurance. Your coverage is important and so is the price. We understand that. Let us get nerdy about the details. If you're looking for the cheapest price from some online company regardless of coverage, you've got the wrong nerd. Now, if you're looking for a personal relationship with a local insurance nerd who cares about covering you and your family and that your cat's name's Fluffy, I'm your nerd. Give us a call or shoot us an email. If we don't answer right away, it's because we're deep in the nerdiness with another client. Don't worry, we'll get right back to you. We always do. Kai Tanner, Farm Bureau Insurance. So merely, I'm talking to these buyers and there's a lot of them still seem to think they need to come in with a big down payment to be able to buy a house. That's very true, but you don't. That's what's really awesome is Utah has great grants. They have zero down programs out there that can get people in now. They don't have to wait. We want to get um, clients into new homes before potentially rates could go up. Also, these are good programs with great rates. So these aren't bad loans, these no, are good loans. No, they're great loans. And people can reap the benefits of getting tax write-offs now instead of waiting and saving for a down payment. Let's get them in a home now. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. Well, Jay, this week we are experiencing this nice transition from the early spring to the full spring bloom here 
And in Southern Utah, people start thinking about getting away up to the nice community of Pine Valley. Pine Valley is a, a little mountain community. It's 45 minutes out of St. George. It's about an hour out of Cedar City. And it's nestled up in this area where there used to be this huge logging operation back in the early 1900s. But this cabin, it's not a cabin anymore. It was fully rehabbed. It has brand new everything in the kitchen. It has a 24-foot rock fireplace and windows to boot. Look at this place, Jay. Yeah, it's amazing. Somebody has really loved this property. They got that beautiful roof outside. And so, man, in St. George, when it gets so hot down there, you can go up there and enjoy this cool weather, which I love. If you drive from St. George to Pine Valley in like uh, June, July, August, it's 15, 15 degrees plus or minus cooler than when you left St. George 45 minutes earlier. Yeah, and that's great. Just what you need. Normally, people are going down to St. George to get away, but when you live in St. George, you're looking for a place to get away. This is where you go, I guess. Yep, absolutely. So the person that owned this, that put the money in this, was the prior owner. And, I mean, you talk about over the top. She was not from, uh, not from Utah, and she put the money in this place and then ended up selling it. And now this person, Jay, wants to buy a, another place in Florida. And his wife said, nope. You can have one or the other, but not both. So he's selling the cabin, and it is like immaculate brand new inside. Yeah, it, it looks like it. Somebody's really loved all that wood they've added in there. Just absolutely beautiful. Yep. Um, but this property, it's not uncommon at all to have deer, turkeys, um, quail, and more wildlife outside of this place just hanging around the yard and uh, and staying for the entire day. Uh, that's awesome. So let's talk a little bit about the area and the amenities and think of people do when they when they have a cabin up there, what are they doing up there in Pine Valley? Yep, so what people do up there is ATVs, you can ride ATVs right on the road, and there's endless trails to ride ATVs from there. Um, you can also ride horseback from the neighborhoods as well, but this has a, a Pine Valley has a, a reservoir that they stock for fishing. There is a huge family reunion slash lodge up there that you can rent with the cabins, hold a great getaway event and so forth. As well, you're only about 20 minutes to two big fishing lakes. And that includes uh, Baker Reservoir and, uh, and another uh, the Enterprise Reservoir. Yeah. And it's... catch big fish, Jay. I'm talking, you know, 12 inches plus of really nice. And if you like to fish, little brookies if you fish the, the birds that come out of pine valley you can catch these nice little six to eight inch brookies all day great really? fishing that's awesome yeah. so looking at this property what was that lower area there uh looked like they had a little shot there what is that yeah so the owner this last year added a 500 square foot detached shop garage and i'm, I'm talking brand new built with the highest quality an incredible builder that's well known up in the uh, pine valley area built the highest quality he built this place for him and now he's going to leave that and uh, go buy a place in florida <laughs> good for him first world problems i love it look yep. at that beautiful property i absolutely love it and you know what's before we uh, you talk on this i didn't even know the pine valley existed and i you know pretty much know the whole state i didn't yeah. even notice it and this is a little piece of uh, heaven for the people down in st george i absolutely love it beautiful property This week, you guys are seeing the incredible Palisade subdivision. It's one of the much newer up-and-coming subdivisions and very, very luxury high-end living here. It's fantastic. I love the roof lines on this. Very specific, very, very cool. And all the properties kind of fit in together, but they're all totally unique, which I love. Exactly. That's what makes Palisade so unique. And the great thing about this home, Jay, it is done absolutely over-top amazing. It's been lived in, honestly, you can count on one hand how many nights people have spent in this home with the owners. And it is like new condition, has unobstructed views of the Red Rocks and, and So Canyon State Park, and it's incredible. Yeah, look at those beautiful views and beautiful windows. This is a, this is a classic property. I love this. This is absolutely stunning. This is, without doubt, parade quality, parade equivalent home. Yeah. So let's talk about square footage, bedrooms. What are we looking at on this one? So this home is over 3,000 square feet and it's all on one level. So it's a really big open rambler. And the garage is over 1,400 square feet. 
So a huge garage, really big oversized two car, and there's also a shop holding clothes inside the garage as well. Really cool. I love the floor plan. Let's talk a little bit about the location. Where is this in St. George? If I'm in St. George proper, where was this located? So this is in the town of Ivan, and this is about two or three minutes from Tucson Amphitheater, so a lot of cool entertaining areas. You're right up the road from Snow Canyon State Park. Um, you're within half an hour of four, four different lakes and golfing within five minutes of the home. Yeah, and th this is perfect. So you could set this one up as your secondary home, your main home, and as you can tell somebody has really loved this property. The decorating, everything is just absolutely stunning. Yes, the owners did an incredible job furnishing this property. And yeah. for the right price, the furnishings could be included. Oh, really? And that's always nice because really? what's really nice about that is usually when you buy a house, you have to go in and buy all your furnishings and pick it out and get a decorator in there to do it this quality. But you can actually include that in your loan and everything. Exactly. That's and a, if you guys want to give us a call, I'll give you guys the details for this home as far as price everything goes. But I can tell you right now, you cannot replace this home for what the sellers are willing to sell it for and also the furnishings as well. You can't touch it. Yeah, that's always, I always like to set up real estate that way where you can include the furnishings and stuff because you move in ready, you make a few changes the way you want to, but it's it's basically walk-in ready and this quality, I mean, it looks like a parade of homes. Oh yeah, every bit of a parade home. Yeah. Over the top, every upgrade imaginable, they did it right. And you have this pool here, of course, taking the views. You can see around the, the views will be forever unobstructed. It won't be changing. It's a very private community. It is it is gated and it is closed uh, in the afternoon hours and on the weekends, and it'll, it should never be changing. It's it's incredible. Yeah. So Chase, if somebody wanted more information, wanted to talk to you about this, how would they reach out to you? They can email us at aimsteam at sgremax.com or call us directly at 435 674-6011. Yeah, and this is, I love, this is, you can see the size of this garage. This is a, this is a really cool property. I'm, I'm, I want to move to St. George after seeing that.